Dallas, what is this jewel we have here? Oh, this is a, this is the big brother to the 215. This is the 300 Buick. Okay, and what's this particular? Well, this was uh, originally built for uh, a guy who had a 60s era drag car, and the 215s are getting so hard to come by, and he had so many mismatched things that it made more sense to go to a 300, which was a little more available. Okay. So we've got these heads look like they've been opened up like crazy. They are. These are the Mondello heads that we've showed in a couple of videos. Uh, they were originally poured and polished by Joe Mondello in the 60s. Himself? Yes. Okay. And then um, they were for a 215, so it had an extra row of bolt holes at the bottom. I see they've been welded up. Had welded up, right. And then the, the head machined down. So It's just, it's old school internal combustion tool. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Well, thank you. Right? Yeah. But the reason I wanted to come here and, you know, is this, the Magneto, because a lot of people have no idea what that thing is. Yeah, well, I'm I'm almost completely barren on this thing. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Well, then by the time we're done, you'll know too much about it. Okay. So if you, if you look at like old school magazines or videos, you'll see these things everywhere. And if you're into modern sprint cars, these are still used today. 800 horsepower alcohol burning sprint cars. These these magnetos, this style magneto, well, I'll get to that in a minute, are the choice for push start cars, cars that don't carry a battery or don't carry a starter, you know, where you've got a separate battery that you plug in. Um, they're still used today. But a lot of people know nothing about them because they've, they've, they've kind of become obscure even though they're still produced. Right. So this is the this is the basic Scintilla Ronco Vertex Taylor Magneto. These things have been produced, ready for this one? These have been in production since World War I. They okay. were originally built by a, a Swiss company. I don't remember the name of the company, but it was called the Scintilla Mag. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the design was, was sold and down some company to company to company but the essentials of it have not changed since World War I. <laughs> okay. Okay, still works today. This is like probably the longest lasting part, aftermarket part, unchanged in all of centuries. It's right, ever, right? So here's what we have here. A magneto, essentially what a magneto is, it's a self-contained ignition system. You've got a generator in here, and then you've got a coil in here and then a set of contact points and a rotor that spins it all off. So let's pop this thing out of here real quick. Now this is a super rare version of it because it's the Buick base. The top part from this parting line up is standard universal Vertex Ronco Scintilla Mag. And then this piece right here is super rare. This is actually for a Buick. How many did you say? I don't know how many were made, but there's so few of them because it, it was originally just made for the Mickey Thompson IndyCar program for 215s. All right. So as I said, this is a completely self-contained ignition system. Let me pop the, the cap off real quick. It's a nice tight fitting of screw. Everything on these things is machined. Like when you handle them, you, you take them apart or anything, everything is machined with that like ancient old world. Oh, tight. Oh, what's yeah. funny is like the cap, I believe, is probably Bakelite. Yeah. And then underneath of it has either a big light or mylar cover, mm -hmm. um, which I don't even know if I'm sure there's very few companies that even make it these days. This is oh, this is a long screw, and they're they're tight. Most they they don't come on you know undo on, undone on you seven thousand RPM. No, yeah, that's the plan. Sprint car or or airplane for that matter. So, very, very simple setup we've got here. This, this is just an insulator to keep the spark from arcing off down into the, into the, uh, the points. So, all you have here is a, a, a giant condenser, a set of uh, platinum tipped points. These things literally are eternal. I've seen these from the 1940s and they're like brand new. Like they don't wear out. This is your post, this is actually your coil wire. 
And this is, this version of it, the standard version of it, produces a three amp AC spark, which is different than your, your, your typical coil. It's about a 20,000 volt spark. And where it differs from a regular coil is, like a regular car coil is DC, which means that it needs to be grounded to itself to throw a spark. But on a magneto, it doesn't have to be grounded to anything to throw a spark. Is that intense or what? Yeah. You got a good shot of that? This thing, this thing is healthy. Now, with these, you don't have to run, typically, if you're switching from a battery type ignition where you run, let's say, a 35,000, 30,000, 35,000 gap, uh -huh. with these, you're closing on the 18 to 20,000. Oh, uh, well, that's good to know. I just set all the plugs at 35. So. Really? Yeah. Well, if you want to close them down, 18 or, or 20 will do the trick. Okay. Right? They do make an external coil for these that boosts them up to like 5 amps. Okay. Uh, and now here's the magic of, of these particular... Okay, so th there's all different... Like Mal Mallory makes magnetos. Uh, they're the most common ones, ones that you find on the fuel cars. And the difference between these and, let's say, other manufacturers is that the magnet... Now, I'm not, I'm not a geologist, so, you know... Right. But the magnets that are used in these will actually gain strength as they sit. So you take one of these out of the car, you put it up on a shelf, and you go back to it, say, 5, 10, 20 years later, and you know what? The magnet has actually gotten stronger, whereas the materials used on, those, on the other manufacturers it goes weaker. So if you take a set of, let's say, Mallory 5-8 megs, 6-8 megs, and you put them on a shelf, you let them sit for three or four years, they're dead. And like if you raise them, you, you always have to have a couple of sets of them because while you've got a set in the race car, you've also got one being refurbished. So these things are, are this was the choice for, for top fuel until 1973, 1974. Is that when they went to the twin mags? Or the twin mags? That's when they started. Well, twin mags was 85 or so. Okay. But the uh, the higher amperage mags we needed to, as, as, as the cars got fatter and they put more fuel through, they needed a higher amperage mag. And so the external mags on these added enough complication and cost to it that it was easier to just go with, let's say, a Mallory style. And that's where you use super mag four, five, six. The, 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 the number after it says how many amps it is. Okay. So, but this, these are these are typically three amp, and more than enough to do anything you have to do to run a, a, a typical street car. Um, you know, six, seven, eight hundred horsepower. These things are fine. Okay. okay. The job done. But they're archaic as hell, and so that's why people don't really have anything to do with them. They're simple, self-contained, and this right here, this lug. So, how do you shut? Obviously, it throws a spark when, when you just bear, oh, yeah, I just zap myself off the engine stand, <laughs> right? So, well, I shouldn't. they're stout enough to throw a spark with just a little bit of rotation. How do you shut them off? Well, that's what this is for. You hook a ground wire to this. The only way to get this thing to shut off after you've started it is to ground it. And put a switch on it. You put a switch on it. And I noticed there's no weights in there. So is this just, yes. you just set it to full timing, your total, what you want? Well, there, there, there is. There, there are a set of advanced weights in here. Oh, there if are? You, yeah, if you drop them down, what you do is you set the, okay, this one is locked out. Oh, no, it's not. Different rotation. You see? I'm, I'm holding the base. And you can see how much play there is. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, there is, this one's set up for probably about 15 degrees, 10 to 15 degrees of advance. So, in, in, that's it. I mean, that's just a primer, and this is, this is for lubricating the, the bottom part of it. This right here, and that's it. It's just a simple primer course on magneto. the basic Scintilla Vertex Ronco Bluebell Magneto. That's well, what everyone used in alcohol ranks, in fuel cars, in yeah. gas cars. Yeah. Uh, there They're was magical. No other option. Yeah. They're magical. That's it. All right. So I hope you got something out of that. I, I got him good. He's just <laughs> <laughs> almost he, as good as what Tony got shot. <laughs> I walked in, he's holding the bag like this. He says, I want to know if this is any good. So I grabbed him and went, don't talk anymore. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. I used to chase my cat around one of these. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.